to those of you who track the stock market would know that the markets ended at a 20-month low today with the Nifty falling below that crucial 7300 mark for the first time since 2014. The Sensex lost 600 points in one day and there is a reason why this is important to you and me, the home buyers. And we have our editor, Faye D'Souza, joining us to explain that and put it into perspective. Faye, not the best of days for, you know, the stock markets across the world, especially Dalal Street. Uh, asset classes across the board have been battered. How does real estate uh, feature in the scheme of things? Well, Krishna, you know that there is a lag effect normally from the stock market into real estate. A lot of investors in India tend to skim their profits off the stock market and use it to buy real estate. Because the idea is when the stock market gives you returns, you want to turn those notional returns into actual physical assets so people tend to buy real estate. What's going to happen now when we see weak markets and we're likely to see an extended period of weak markets given what's happening in the, uh, around the globe and what's happening with commodities and like you said, crude and, and currency and all of these things. If we have an extended period of a weak market, mm we will see even more pressure on the real estate uh, you know, sector, a sector that's already feeling a lot of heat, which means that cash flows into the real estate sector will come under pressure again. Mm. This would mean, of course, that um, developers would have their backs to the wall mm. even more than they have had over the last two years. So, you know, my advice is while it might be, uh, you know, a tough time for fixed income investors and equity investors, if you're a home buyer, so you're looking for a home to buy and to live in with your family, there isn't a better time than now.